Please join us for In the Works, a weekly update of public works projects for the City of Kingsport. Hi, I'm John Johnson. I'm the City of Kingsport lift station maintenance foreman. I'm Billy Denton. I'm a City of Kingsport wastewater treatment plant and lift stations maintenance mechanic. We're standing here at our Wesley Drive pump station about a thousand yards or so from the Fort Patrick Henry Dam. All right, come with us and we're going to show you how one of our lift stations operates, some of the basic functions of it, and some of the uh, bells and whistles at this station. What I'm going to do is we're going to perform a system check on this lift station to make sure the pumps and all the operations are operating correctly and to make sure that the wet well level is going down and to make sure that there's no other problems that cause a potential overflow or potential problem. This is a 480 volt service, so it's, it's a pretty dangerous situation or has the opportunity to be dangerous. I have to get my, my protective equipment on before I open this part of it up. As we open this up, we see many, many different components inside this panel. We have, these are our actual motor starters. They're actually called soft starts. They are what actually make the pumps start and run. We got just, it's just tons of different parts in here. And what I'll be checking is, I'll be checking the main coming in and the voltage and amp draw going out to the pumps. reading 499 volts there 490 volts there so that tells us our system coming from AEP is in good shape John could you start uh, pump one up please sure clear yes pumps are coming up to speed now it takes a, a couple seconds for it to get up that's due to the soft start so it don't start and get a lot of torque in action on the pump and stuff all at one time. Right, 492 volts coming out, so we're looking good on voltage coming through. We're going to do an amp test. Drawing 27 amps on that leg, 25.7 on that leg, and 26.6 on that leg. So that tells me that we're looking pretty good on this on this system right here. All right, what we're going to do now is Billy is going to turn one of the pumps on, and I'm going to actually physically check the wet well to make sure that the pumps are moving the water out of here like they're supposed to. Uh, Billy, if you would, go ahead and turn pump one on for me. All right, everything seems to be fine. Um, we're fixed to go down into the dry well section of this pump station. The depth is approximately about 20 feet, so you're about that far underground when you're, when you're going down.
Well, now we are down inside of the dry well. This, is, this particular station is a wet well, dry well configuration, meaning we have a wet well that the sewer comes into from the system and the dry well where the actual pumps sit. A lot of our pump stations are submersible, so that means that the pumps are actually under the water. They, they will take and grind the sewer, they'll grind all the different you know, organics and inorganics that come into the sewer system. They'll grind them up and put them on down. This is one of our medium-sized stations that takes care of, of a pretty good amount of water. We, these, one pump for these will do about 700 and we want, we want to see about 750 gallons a minute. Um, I think when we tested pump one a minute ago, it was doing about 735, so we're looking pretty good. Um, this particular pump station has got two pumps. They are, this is fairly new, so it's um, it, everything, we don't have a lot of trouble out of, out of this station a lot. Um, from here, it comes in from, from this direction into the pumps through the check valves, valves, and this right here is actually what's called the force main. This is what puts the, these pumps connect to to put the uh, sewer water out into the system. This eventually goes all the way back to the sewer wastewater treatment plant. Um, that is where the water gets taken care of and, and, and put back into the river. What we're going to do now is show you how this wet well senses the level of water that is in here. This probe has sensors marked on it at every 12 inches. And based off of which marker senses the level, it sends that information over to our electrical panel, which will in turn take that signal and it interprets it and tells the pump when to come on based off of a preset level. Once the pumps come on, they will turn off based off the water hitting another sensor, again, at a preset level. All right, as John was just checking the level probe, what he, as he said, it will send a signal over to this panel and it actually sends it to this piece of equipment right here. This is the actual pump controller. This is what says, hey pump one, come on, hey pump two, come on, hey pump, shut off. This is what does it all. If you need, in an emergency or in a checking environment, if you need to operate these pumps manually, these two switches right here will actually turn them on and off by hand. These lights will tell you if, it, if you've got a fault, these lights will tell you if they're off, and these lights will tell you if they're on. These are important because sometimes you can't hear the pumps down, down in the bottom, or you just need a visual representation of what's actually going on. This is our lift station telemetry system. Uh, most of our systems have this. What it does is these relays pick up signals from the control panel that Billy was uh, demonstrating earlier. It'll pick up whether the pump is on, off, it'll pick up a high level, or if there's a power outage. And it sends that signal to this radio. And what this radio will do is take the signal from this panel and send it to the wastewater treatment plant where it'll send out automatic alarms and also trend the level in the wet well. And when we do that, we can see the pumps come on and shut off. This lift station has two backup emergency, uh, I guess, devices that we can use if need be. The first of which is this bypass connection. What we can do with this, in the event that our entire station goes down, we lose both pumps, we lose our control panel, say we lost everything. What we can do is bring a backup pump, drop the suction hose down in the wet well, and plug the discharge hose in here. We do that, we can open our valves, and it works the exact same way as the lift station that you've already seen demonstrated. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna demonstrate a power outage. Really, the only way we have of doing it is to disconnect the main power from the service entrance and see the, see the generator come on. Uh, as you can see now, we have no indicator lights on our control panel. Uh, again, we're simulating a power outage. 
So here very momentarily, uh, this generator will sense the power outage and it will turn on automatically. The last thing that we'd like to show you before we leave this segment of In the Works is this sign right here. If you ever drive by any of our sewer lift stations and you see a red emergency light on or an overflow, we would love for you to call this number, 246-9111. That goes to Central Dispatch. Just let them know the emergency, the location, and they'll be sure to get a hold of the right people so we can take care of it. Again, I hope you enjoyed this segment of In the Works going through one of our sewer lift stations. And we look forward to seeing you in future episodes here on In the Works.